morning everyone welcome to Sunday school online and I'm so happy that you joined us today we are going to have a great time talking more about Moses so does anyone remember what happened last week in the story of Moses the most recent update So Moses, he, he was a shepherd and he saw the burning bush, remember? And God was in the burning bush and told him to go back to Egypt and tell Pharaoh to let the Israelites go. And Moses was nervous about doing that, but he ended up going and he asked Pharaoh to let the people go and Pharaoh said, nope. And so God sent 10 plagues to show Pharaoh God's power. And Pharaoh still didn't want to let the Israelites go, so it took 10 times, but by the 10th one, Pharaoh finally said, okay, you can, the people are free and y'all can go. So that catches us up to this week. And I think we talked about last week that Pharaoh changes his mind. So, we'll find out what happens. Let's read our Bible story. Okay, if you can see that, it says, if you can read it, it says, Crossing the Sea. That's our Bible story today. So, all the people who were in Egypt, that Pharaoh was keeping in Egypt, they have all been let go, and they are crossing the sea. And look, look at that water. Up on the sides, this looks exciting. Let's read about it. It's from the book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 17, through chapter 14, verse 31. Let's read. The people were so happy. Pharaoh said they could go. They packed up all their things. They were going to the new land that God has promised them. But Pharaoh changed his mind. He did not want the people to go and he sent his army to catch them. Oh no, God's people came to the Reed Sea. How are they going to get to the other side? They were afraid. The king's army was behind them and the water was in front of them. Do not be afraid, said Moses. God will help us. God sent a strong wind to blow the water out of the way. God's people walked across on dry land. God's people were safe. Pharaoh's army could not chase them anymore. What? This is really wild, isn't it? So first in Moses' story, God uh, shows God's power by showing up in the, the bush that is on fire but is somehow not burning up. And then God shows God's power through all the plagues that happened in Egypt. And now, as the people are escaping, they come to the Reed Sea, and there's nothing but water in front of them, and Pharaoh's army is behind them, and they're stuck. And then God sends a powerful wind to part the waters. So that's those walls of water we saw in our book. Our Bible story book the water just came up the, the water of the sea and the people walked through on dry land and then when they got through the water came back down that is so wild isn't it God is so powerful and amazing and and the awesome one of the awesome things about the story there's so many awesome things right but one thing that is important for us to remember is that God promised Moses that God would always be with Moses when he was going through these hard times and had to go confront Pharaoh um, God said I'll be with you and God promised that God would be with the people as they left Egypt and guess what God was with them the whole time and made sure that they could make it okay and God makes the same promise to us. God is with you, and God is with me, and God 
never leaves us. God is always here to help make sure that we're okay. And isn't that so comforting that such a big, powerful God, the God who can part a whole sea, cares about us and promises to be with us all the time? This amazing. What an amazing God. So you might be wondering what craft we're going to do today. Um, what could we possibly do to illustrate the waters of the sea parting? And I have a little bit of a surprise for you. We're not going to do a craft. We're going to do a science experiment. Are you excited about that? We haven't done science in a long time. So if you have your own supplies and would like to do this with us, you absolutely can. Or you can just watch the video because everything that we're going to do, um, you'll just be able to see it really well. And so you can watch the video of the science experiment or you can go and you might want to ask uh, someone who takes care of you to help you get all the supplies and do the experiment because it could be a little bit messy but i'll tell you what we're using i have i've already poured a cup of water into a clear jar so you'll need that a cup or a jar is fine but a cup of water and then i have some oil vegetable oil or whatever kind of oil you have will work and a half cup measuring cup and we are going to start our experiment by taking our jar of water you want to take your oil and pour it into your measuring cup this is where it has the potential to get messy so you may need some help okay a half cup it doesn't have to be exact but close okay now pour it in here Hopefully not make a giant mess. Okay. Can you see what's happening? There's a lot of bubbles already. Okay. Can you see what's happening with the water and the oil? Ooh, look at that guy. So we poured our oil into the water and it separated see this is the water layer and there's some bubbles of oil down here but most of the oil is up here it's all separated you can see the oil bubbles jiggle that's funny so i wonder what happens if we put our lid on our jar and make sure it's on correctly and tight okay so it's all separate what happens if we shake it up Ooh, good shake. Do you think it'll stay mixed up? Let's see. Ooh, this may take a minute. It got very mixed up. <gasps> can you see what's happening? I don't know if you can see it. Do you see that line starting to appear? There, you can see it better. See that? That line? So slowly, the oil and the water are separating again. Do you see it? The oil's all rising to the top. See the line? That's so neat. Oil and water don't mix and they will always separate if they're put together. So our science experiment today reminds us how our big, awesome, powerful God separated the Reed Sea for God's people to walk through. Just like oil and water separate, God parted the Reed Sea. And our Bible story reminds us just how much God loves us and about God's promise that God said, God is with us. God promised that to Moses and the Israelites and God promises that to us too. God is with us and God loves us so much. Even when times are scary and things are really hard, God promises to always be with us. So uh, if you have your Bible story book and you would like to read 
our prayer with me, you can. And um, I'll also show the prayer on the camera so we can all read it together, okay? Let's say our prayer. So here's our prayer and our, our picture in our Bible storybook of God parting the Red Sea and uh, Moses and all the people walking through on dry land. And here's our prayer reminding us that God is always with us. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for always being with me. Amen. So that was our Bible lesson for today. I hope you guys had a lot of fun uh, reading about what happened, the conclusion of everyone leaving Egypt. Next week, we're going to keep talking about uh, the story, what happens after the God parts the Reed Sea. We're going to keep talking about it, but uh, we're going to talk about more about the people who left Egypt, all the Israelites. Um, next week, we're talking about Moses' sister, Miriam. So that'll be fun. Miriam, we've already talked about, remember? At the, uh, when Moses was a baby in the basket, Miriam followed him along the shoreline to make sure that he would be okay. And she comes back next week for our Bible story. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Would you like to check in on our oil and water and see how that's going? I don't know how yours is going, if you did it, but here's mine. It's almost, the water is almost back to being clear because the oil is rising to the top. I'll bet it'll keep going too. That's neat. What a fun science experiment. So I'm so glad you guys joined us for this week's Sunday School lesson and our really cool Bible story and our super fun science experiment. Uh, it's been a fun morning and I'm so glad you were here. I hope that you join us later for worship, either our online worship at 10 o'clock. It moved up half an hour from 10, 10.30 to 10 o'clock. Um, you can join us for online worship at 10. And we also have services in person at 9 and 11 if your family would like to come to those. Um, be sure to wear your masks. But we have those. We have so many ways you can worship with us. And I hope that you and your family are able to do some of that either today or sometime this week all together. It's always a good time to worship together with your family and with your big, huge church family. So thank you for coming to Online Sunday School, and I hope you have a great week coming up. Okay, make it a good one. And I'll see you next week to find out more, like what happens next for the Israelites. Stay tuned. Bye.